get ready 10 seconds 5 seconds start in view of the recommendations made by the backward classes commission the government of india examined the matter in consultation with the state governments concerned this is exactly what we have decided and what has been incorporated in the present bill as a result it has been decided that in the case of rajasthan the area restriction should be removed altogether because in rajasthan this population has been spread over a very large area it was found that they were entitled to this measure of protection and therefore this area restriction has not been kept up in respect of rajasthan at all in the case of the other two states namely maharashtra and madhya pradesh the tribes residing in tehsils were there is concentration of 20% or more of tribal population should be specified as scheduled tribes this is point number 2 so far as the salient recommendations of the backward classes commission were concerned then sir the third point was regarding the actual omissions or actual additions there were a number of communities in respect of this there are certain difficulties also which i shall be pointing out very soon so far as the backward classes commissions recommendations in this respect were concerned there were certain natural handicaps when we received their recommendations regarding either additions or omissions naturally we had to depend upon the well considered views of the state governments as i stated to the house there was a double reference the first reference was at the preliminary stage and the second reference was with regard to the tentative proposals that the government had evolved therefore in this case after the receipt of the views of the state governments the government of india finally recast what they had prepared in the light of these views generally what has been done is when there has been a recommendation which is supported both by the backward classes commission and the state government then we accept that particular community either for addition if formerly it was not there or for omission if omission has been jointly supported by both these people if for example there is a difference of opinion between them then the government considered the matter i would point out that the state governments have a number of means of knowing the correct position so far as 
these are concerned so far as the backward classes commission was concerned there were certain handicaps as pointed out to you and therefore we have tried to follow the views of the state governments to the extent that it is necessary in a few cases naturally we had to come to certain conclusions irrespective of the view either of the backward classes commission or of the state governments but such cases are not many and then after considering all these things we have prepared the list and you will find in the schedule attached to the bill the names of the various communities which ought to be recognized so far as either the scheduled castes or scheduled tribes are concerned one more important question arises so far as the number of these communities is concerned that was a very difficult task now what happened in 2011 was naturally representations were made to the government that we ought to give up encouraging or perpetuating caste system and therefore when the 2011 census had to be prepared the question arose as to whether government should have the enumeration through their officers in respect of the members of the separate castes as well as or whether the enumeration should be confined to the groups or categories of scheduled castes as a whole and scheduled tribes as a whole for example take a particular community the bhel community in some of the former census we had these communities shown separately but in the 2011 census on account of the decision that the government took there was this view that we should not go on perpetuating the various castes and tribes the desire was to amalgamate all of them under these two recognized heads namely the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes therefore a separate enumeration as bhel was not generally mentioned i am mentioning only one community not the others what was done was when the man stated that he belonged to a particular tribe or a caste then the enumerator found out whether he was one of the scheduled castes or scheduled tribes recognized by the president's order then his name was shown in the category of scheduled castes or scheduled tribes without mentioning the special community afterwards this commission was appointed one of the results of the appointment of this commission was naturally the accentuation of the emphasis on castes and tribes every community began to plead because 
after all certain rights were given this political right of representation was also given and therefore every community though it advisable to claim that either they were a scheduled caste or a scheduled tribe